and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet and today we're gonna have two more uh, look at two more whiskies from the Rangers Creek distillery it's a small distillery uh, from Texas that's in the United States and today we're gonna have the rim fire so this is the bottle and it says Rangers Creek rim fire mesquite Texas single malt whiskey so let's find a bit out what this this all means. So we have uh, Rangers Creek, okay, it's a small craft story. Rimfire. Rimfire is their tribute to an old rifle that was very famous in yeah in Texas. It's the Winchester Rimfire model 1866, named the Yellow Boy because uh, the Rimfire gun, the the rifle, had a brass yeah plating on the side so it looked kind of yellow and that's why they called it the yellow boy and it was one of the first or one, the first repeating rifle so this one of these and um, that's why they called it the rim fire and actually I did a bit of research and find out they do an anniversary edition so they manufacture the, the rifle again like they did 150 nearly 150 years ago or over 150 years now and so it's the anniversary edition you can buy on um, a very old gun manufactured in yeah with new equipment hopefully so um that was the the rim fire and then we have mesquite smoked texas single malt whiskey single malt whiskey means 100 percent malted barley and what they actually do is they use their their beer they have a smoked beer and they just distill their smoked beer to get to this whiskey. They say, yeah, whiskey is just distilled beer. Mm, yes, but uh, usually whiskey is uh, a different type of beer. When you have beer, you do have hops, which makes beer a bit bitter, but also the hops makes the beer very pure. Hops kills bacteria and uh, keeps it clean and that's why they use it in the beer because you you want to have a, a clean beer that is not spoiled in any way and that is durable so it doesn't go off in one or two days in the whiskey distilling industry you can leave out the, the hops mostly because you you ferment it you put it in your beer well and maximum one or two days you distill it and if it's a bit if there's a bit bacteria in it no problem because the the distillation takes out all the bacteria it's very clean when it comes out the other end of the still so um, usually you don't distill beer but something that we call beer with that's beer without hops except for the exceptions which is Maker's Mark and now Rangers Creek so that's what the single malt stands for and then we have the mesquite smoked mesquite is a tree in Texas and they apparently use the the wood to smoke their their malt and create this smoky whiskey. So usually you use peat because peat creates a lot of smoke and peat is very, very cheap. That's why the Scotchman do it. Um, they use their own tree and maybe they create some, some new flavors with it. So it's 43% uh, ABV and uh, small caliber series. And that probably means uh, it's in uh, matured in small barrels and um, otherwise you wouldn't guess get this nice color so it's 12 month much maturation and this is a uh, the small caliber series has uh, a lot of numbers at the bottom like batch 20 bottle number 310 winter of 2007 and 12 month maturation so let's have a look how how this ooh. Oh, there is a good amount of sweetness in there. Oh, it's a it's a bit of a gummy bear sweetness with vanilla, but also some some freshness going on. Mm. Bit of a is that strawberry note raspberry note hmm. oh, sweet sweet and light it's not as 
as demanding and forward as as you might expect from a, a very uh, fast matured small barrel whiskey. Hmm. Mm. It's very soft, like a oily, buttery note. Have a bit of a popcorn note in there. Ooh! And now comes a here comes a a strange, fresh smokiness. It's not as medicinal as this phenolic smokiness, but as a just a a hint of smoke, but not as a damp smoke, but a very, very fresh smoke. Like you're standing on a field and you, you smell a bit of a, a wood fire somewhere in the distance. Very, very delicate. Very, oh, it's a, it's a strange mixture of whiskey. Mm, yeah, it's, no, it's very different to what I've tasted before. Hmm. Compared to a scotch, much more sweet, much more mm, bourbon style, but with this, with this phenomenal. Mm, now the second time with the smoke is a bit, a bit, a bit stronger. Mm. Uh, but it still, it more goes more, a bit more into the medicinal, phenolic side of smoke and has a lot of. A lot of sweetness. It's a bit sticky already. So it's a it's a wild card of single malt whiskey, I would say. They definitely tried out something new. I don't know if it's strange recipe. They did something different. It's a, a fast maturation small barrel single malt. They didn't have many of these yet. Or if it's the the hops in the beer, or if it's the mesquite the mesquite smoke. So. Mm. There's a lot of things going on, and I would say it's a combination of all of that that gives you this this wild card of a whiskey. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to have an interesting whiskey that has flavors that you haven't had before, then I would recommend you try to find this whiskey. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time.